All right, JP, thanks for coming in and, and uh, visiting with us and, and sharing a video with the AIS blog. Um, you took an intensive a long time ago, and uh, we have a video of your speech from that intensive, and I just had you sit down and watch it. What was that like? Um, I think the first thing that kind of went through my head was, I think when you hear yourself talk, you hear yourself from from the way that the sounds kind of hit your skull and then they kind of go uh, in your ears. And I guess to that extent it's a lot like when you hear yourself sing, mm -hmm. um, it sounds totally different than what's, you know, what you hear. And so I remember when I did that thinking my speech was so slow and slurred and, and had this weird type of sound to it. And um, when you told me that you still had that in my head, I was kind of like, oh, I'm going to hear that weird type of monotone. And then I was hearing back, I was like, man, I sound good. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't sound like that. At, at, you know, it didn't have that, sl that slurriness to it. It was just, you know, uh, t totally smooth. Mm. And so that was kind of a huge thing. And then I think probably the bigger the bigger uh, impact that it had on me was um, the feeling, I uh, just hearing myself stutter the way that, 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 I, that I used to and um, the um, intensity of it. And I think that kind of brought me back um, because it's been so long and it's been such a slow journey. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like uh, my speech is, been a lot like an, an art f form in the in the sense that it takes so it's 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 been a very gradual um, slope up and so n now I, I I I feel like I'm pretty high up on the on the slope and I've accomplished a lot mm -hmm. <clears throat> but just like it is in any um, art form um, when a slope is takes that long to get up, uh, it's a very uh, gradual thing. You tend to lose sight of your um, accomplish your 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 accomplishments because they take so, so you know it's a very slow thing. Mm -hmm. um, so hearing myself talk like that, I was like, man, that's pretty incredible. You know, mm -hmm. That was really really incredible, and uh, it made me very proud. You know, mm. It was cool. So um, yeah, it was, yeah, it was great. What were some of the the actually before I ask that question, let's get just one detail out of the way. Um, the program that you took was in two thousand five, mm -hmm. which would have made you what age? Uh, that's a good question. I was twenty. You were twenty at the nineteen time. or twenty. Okay. Yeah, which was um, the second time that um, I took it. Yeah. Okay. You're 27 now? Yeah, 26, yeah 27. 27. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, what were some of the, the benefits of taking that, the program? We've talked a little bit about already, about how it was cool to see how, how fluent and natural, naturally fluent your speech sounded in that speech. Yeah. Um, what are some of the other benefits that you noticed? Well, when I first got out of the, of the program, there was a while where, um, where I kind of got up uh, each day and did my, 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 my exercises for about whatever it is, 15, 20, 20 minutes or something. Yeah. And then I would do it once more before I went to bed and um, I would come in a lot for the, uh, the uh, support groups and um, I was really trying to be very conscious of my speech. And um, <clears throat> I think I just got to a point where um, I guess it was kind of a a, a, a culmination of uh, two things. One being um, that I got tired of having to concentrate so much on my speech. Mm -hmm. And um, the way I explained it to people was that it was kind of like having to concentrate on each step that you take throughout, you know, the, uh, the, the, the whole day. It's like every step I had to... Really, really concentrate on it, and I was fluent, so 
not to say that there's <clears throat> excuse me not to say that there's um there's there's anything wrong with that approach and there are people who do that approach and it, it's great and it works for them and um, that's one of the great things about the program is that <clears throat> it kind of teaches you if that's the road that is right for you then you could you know go down that road but for me I just got to a point where <clears throat> I realized that no one cares that I stutter mm. and and when I had that mindset <clears throat> I was like man I'm just gonna stutter like I'm just gonna let it, it happen and uh, I don't care anymore and I just really got to this point where I just honestly from like the bottom of my heart I just didn't care that I stuttered mm. and um, coming from a kid who like would come home from school you know crying and and hating the fact I remember the first time that I came to the program there was a survey <clears throat> that we had to fill out where we had to list all the things that we hated about stuttering and then mm. all the things that we liked about stuttering one and of my favorite activities yeah and, and <laughs> And Catherine told me that I had to put one thing down that 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 that, that I like about stuttering, and I had a whole list about things that I hated, about, <laughs> and I couldn't for the life of me. I remember, I remember I just couldn't put I couldn't put one thing down. Yeah. And now that it's pretty amazing for me to think about that because now I know if I did that that list would be totally backwards, mm -hmm. and I would have a huge column here, and I would have a very small amount here mm -hmm. and I can honestly say that it's not some some uh, contrived thought that I've kind of drilled uh, in my head it's 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 honestly the way that I feel and I think through that my speech has has improved you know I, I don't know if I'm using tools or not I'm, I may be on on um, a subconscious point of view maybe all that time you know uh, pr practicing it uh, kind of put it uh, in my head, but a lot of times when I tell people that I stutter, they're, they're, they're like, you don't st st stutter. I'm like, yeah, I <laughs> do. You know, fun response. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, like, actually, I do. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Some people um, sometimes uh, feel like they get to a point where they've, they've learned in some way or, an, or another <clears throat> to stutter more easily. Mm -hmm. And that can be mentally or physically, but in the way they're dealing with it um, uh -huh. mentally or the way that they're physically um, dealing with that, m with each moment of stuttering. Yeah. Is that true at all for you? I think that is true now that you bring that up. I mean, if if I wanted to right now, I could kind of go back to my old ways of trying to push through speech. Mm -hmm. And I think I, you would see a much more um, aggressive uh, stammer as to now when I come on, on a block, I normally... I guess in a lot of ways I, I am u using tools be because when I, I feel myself come on to a, to 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 a block, a lot of times I'll kind of instead of tightening up here or here or here, mm. I'll concentrate more on just kind of like like I'm easing into it a mm -hmm. little bit as opposed to trying to push through it, which is right, right. kind of I guess um, the natural way of. Um, all stutters. I don't know why it's kind of our initial thought process is that mm. if we can't get something out, oh, just kind of you know push through it. Which um, well, I think a lot of it can for many people can stem from a, an extreme discomfort with that moment and just wanting out. Just wanting to get a response exactly. Yeah, uh, kicks in and and okay. then you suppress it and move on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the more comfortable you are with that moment, though, the more likely you can gain the ability to stutter yeah. more easily because yeah. you're more comfortable coping in that moment, right? right? Yeah. Um, and it's kind of it's kind of an insane thing too because I feel like I feel like um, I'm trying to think how to word this, right? I feel like having a true understanding of that, being able to to accomplish, you know, if, if, if there was one thing that I could say that I'm so grateful that 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 I stutter, which is true. If there's one main thing that I could say about that is that it's kind of sh shown me how to. Uh, it's just given me this accomplish that uh, this 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 uh, confidence that I, I can um, accomplish things mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> through a state of uh, through like a s certain state of, of m m m mind, 
you know, I think that it's um, <clears throat> in a lot of ways shown me how to control my thoughts, which mm -hmm. a lot of people really struggle. Like that's a huge thing to be able to um, accomplish, especially uh, in this part, uh, 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 in this part, 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 part of the world. You, know, you go over to, you know, places where they're more into. Uh, Zen and uh, med 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 meditation and stuff. I feel like people have a better grasp on that. But here, a lot of people struggle with their thoughts, and that's something that I've always had a really strong grasp on. And I can't help but think that's because of what I've had to overcome. And mm -hmm. that was also a very big part um, uh, of the program too. Is kind of what's going, you know, how your thoughts can can affect. <clears throat> your uh, speech mm -hmm. and so from a pretty young age because the first time I came here I was 13 yeah. uh, from a pretty young age I was um, exposed to this kind of uh, challenge of having to overcome what my thoughts um, are telling me and so that's been a really cool thing excellent yeah well let's wrap it up there cool. and uh, I just want to thank you for yeah thanks for, for sharing me. I really appreciate it yeah